let's go ahead and start playing some Minecraft. Yes, sir, Bob. All right. I've basically been playing Minecraft like all week since the last stream. I've not been playing on uh, the uh, hardcore server or that server. I've been playing on my friend's server here, which, uh, goddamn, I'm so far in that right now. Anyway, did I? Hold on. Did I name my game Hard Code, not Hardcore? Am I dumb? Oh my god. Anyway, uh, last time we said we were going to probably make a uh, zombie spawner uh, thing. And I got some materials to do it. I got flint and steel for uh, another portal and whatnot. Uh, did I have obsidian? How was I going to fucking get to the nether without obsidian? Did I, make a I made a portal, right. Yeah, like I said, it's been it's been a minute since we've been here, right? So in order to make this uh, this nether portal, or not this, this this spawner, the zombie spawner, I need one soul sand to make a, an elevator. I have the rest of the material here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with iron gear to uh, the, the nether, which didn't I? I feel like it was underground somewhere. I don't remember where the hell it was at. Uh, I made a mine. You're right, it's over here. Oh, all right. Uh, did I build more stuff and then not tell you guys about it? I, I don't know. Well, we'll go through a tour real quick. So I have a, a window here. I got more of the, the walls up and whatnot. Got a nice little bedroom there. Got a second floor with an enchantment table and some books. Little roof. I got a nice little uh, balcony over here with a nice overlook of the ocean. Pretty cool. And uh, that's just pretty much the house. And then also outside, I went ahead and uh, expanded the sugarcane farm. This is all sugarcane, so we can get plenty of books and stuff we need sugar to. I have a berry farm out here if we need ever berries, you know what I'm saying? We still got our villagers trapped in here. I expanded the wall a little bit more to cover this area, so this is kind of like our, our port. I'm going to build a dock out here at some point. Um, still got all the doors just randomly sitting there. And up here, got a couple of trees, got more cows, got more sheep, our island golems in here for some reason, but you know, that's whatever. Got our uh, a wheat farm, pumpkin farm, all that kind of stuff. Nothing else really changed up here, I don't think from the last time we were doing much, but I did edit the house a bit. I also started to plant a carrot farm here. You can actually harvest these and plant there, there. And some more melons just kind of around so we have good income. Anyway, that's about all. So let's head down to the nether. And uh, that's water, so I can just... There we go. All right. Light it. Aha. I'm going to store that away. Okay, so we got two buckets of water, which we'll use later. But right now... We're going to go into the nether. Actually, I'm going to take that with just in case the portal gets destroyed somehow. Right, so we're going to go through here. And hope we don't get, like, one shot by a ghast or something. Ooh, we're in a little forest. Okay, that's good. That's good. Unfortunately, we're not near nether or soul sand. Unfortunately. A lot of stuff up there. Okay. At least we're in a cave type thing, so that's, that's good. Um, this is part of the, the nether update as well, everyone. Um, there's trees here now. So basically you can start your entire game in the nether if you wanted to. Um, like I said, there's uh, there's trees. They don't have leaves, they have like nether wart stuff here, which I can show you. It's another wart block. You can't turn it back into nether warts though, unfortunately. It's just kind of aesthetic. There's also vines and these uh, alternatives to glowstone, which are just uh, shroom lights. You place them down, they're light sources, pretty neat. This is wood. You can cut it up, turn into planks. There's uh, there's blue biomes, and then there's uh, red biomes as well for like red trees and stuff like that. Very nice. And uh, along with this wood, there's like all types of the different colored wood for like doors and that kind of stuff that you can use. And all that good stuff. But for now, let's... Uh, 
First of all, lay down some torches before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Now we can find our way back. Where are we at? We're at 51 for our Y level, huh? Nothing here, huh? Just a tree in the wall. Okay. If this is the case, I think what we'll do... This is kind of what I was doing uh, on Brent's server as well. There's an Enderman over there. Let's just ignore him. So what I was doing is apparently the uh, the ancient scrap which is used to make the, the netherite uh, is found best on Y level 15. So I just went down to Y level 15 and I just started like strip mining. But I had like a really efficient pick and stuff like that down there. Uh, this might take a little bit. Here's the little uh, new creatures, which I don't know who made these, but goddamn, that's terrifying. They're like burn victims with like little strands of hair coming off of them, you know? But also, uh, down here is 30, so we gotta go 15 more deep. I uh, hope that I hit lava. Goddamn. Also, the, the shaders make it like look really wavy in here, and it's really weird. I'm not a huge fan of that, but also you you cannot harvest this like grassy blocks without a uh, silk touch. Just an FYI. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and just dig in a nice little. Uh, I'm gonna exchange my shield for lights, just so we have a little more light here. Ah, man, that sucks. Okay. Got some, uh, that brick here. We'll just go ahead and place this back there so I can actually walk on it without having to crouch. Alright, so this is black stone. It's the cobblestone equivalent of, uh, the overworld. You can use this to make, uh, pickaxes and pretty much anything you can use cobblestone for. Which is cool. Alright, I was going down, not over. Dumb. Go here. Go ahead and plug that hole of lava, I think. Maybe? Or is that all lava? It seems to be all lava. One thing about nether uh, is that the lava seems to spread a lot faster. I don't like it. Oh my god, this sucks. Plug the holes. We are at 19, 18, 17, 16, and 15. Okay. And we'll go two more down. So our head is on Y level 15. Perfect. And we can just start uh, strip mining here real quick. So doing this, we'll be able to get through a couple of biomes. And we should hopefully find just a soul sand biome at some place. Right now we're in the, uh, the warped forest biome. Looking for like a soul sand. I forget what it's called. Soul sand something. Thank goodness, uh, Netherrack is very easy to mine. Otherwise, this would be quite the arduous journey. Alright, gravel. I have another shovel? Yeah, I do. Okay, perfect. 
I do want some uh, flint anyway for arrows and stuff as well. Man, I'm so used to the uh, the multiplayer server where I was just cutting through this stuff with like my pickaxe and shovel, like no problem. Just gonna place a uh, thing here. I just want to kind of get rid of all the easy gravel in case there were us any uh, the netherite scrap around. We're still in the warped forest. We are okay. Like I said, the uh, lava travels hella fast. right now. Alright, we're on another biome now, it looks like, since we're seeing the basalt. At least we're getting near one, I think. So, there we go, basalt delta. Still another place we want. We gotta turn back now. Or do we? Since we have da, 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 a crafting table and sticks. And place that down there. Grab that here. And we just use the black stone to make a pickaxe. <laughs> the progress will be a lot slower now, though. But you know. I'm gonna throw this away real quick. Yeah. Yep. The basalt feels really like solid. Also, there's gold in the nether. It's gold nuggets, though, not like blocks, unfortunately. But there's a lot of it, so if you never need gold. So we'll go to this pickaxe is used up, and if we're not in the uh, area that has soul sand, we will go back up and I guess try to journey around. I just don't like being close to uh, lava. Because some of the stuff that was added in this uh, update is really not great in terms of survivability in the nether. Okay, that's it. Let's head back. Make some good progress, though. Once we get a, uh, a good like pickaxe with efficiency on it, like a diamond one, we will totally... Hey, stop that. We'll totally... Oh, is that ancient debris? It's not. It looks similar. But, uh, like I said, once we get a good efficiency pickaxe, we can come back through here and just like annihilate all of this nether rack on the sides. And we'll probably find just in this corridor that we've dug maybe 12 or so ancient uh, debris. It doesn't seem like a lot, but 12 gets you three uh, ingots. And uh, that's enough to upgrade three diamond tools or armor. So it's, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Then again, it is end game armors. Okay, well, here we are, again. 
Uh, I'm gonna throw away the gravel and the magma blocks. Go, no? okay. I'm just gonna go back through another portal and drop off some stuff. See if there's another. I think there's a couple more pickaxes in there as well. We can grab one. So. All right. Let's go ahead and drop off some of this that we don't need right now. I need those letters. That stuff. Store that stuff. Okay. Go. Okay. Oops, I hate doing that. All right, so the thing we gotta do now, determine where the hell we're going. Oof. I think we'll just get some uh, some stuff to go across that lake there, and we continue a journey that way potentially. Because I think in the I think we were going that way with our uh, sand, not with our sand, with our tunnel. I was really hoping that we would just luck out and get right into a uh, sand... Ow. Right into a sandstone... Soul sand, sorry. Biome. But unfortunately for us, we did not. So. I'll throw away these uh, warp roots. Okay. Oh, God. We don't run into a ghast or something. This could be our death. How close are we? Not very close. Over there, alright. Also, apparently you can put a saddle on the, uh, the lava rider guys, and uh, actually pretty quick good way to cross lava because they're invulnerable to it and you can just ride on their backs i'm just going to make this path real a little bit wider while we're just chilling here okay we'll have to get more but for now that's fine there's a magma cream over there or magma slime whatever you want to call it for now let's just uh get up and over huh I'm gonna get my shield out. We will probably need it. Okay. Before I forget my way, let's uh mark it here. Okay. Because getting lost is always a problem in the nether. Everything looks pretty much the same. Give me that torch back. There's more of the same over there, huh? Okay. Oops. Uh oh. That's not good. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a uh, Bastion Remnant. And those fucking pig boys up there. Well, let's just say on my friend's server in full diamond gear, they pretty much three shot me. The, the bigger ones did, and they cause your shield to not be able to be, like, raised all the time. Like, the bigger ones, the ones that have, like, stuff on them, they'll actually, like, just hit it once. Your shield is, like, stunned, and then you have to uh, have it cool down, which uh, is not great. So, is that another one? Well, I don't think we're going to be going this way, gents. At least we found a, a bastion, huh? Maybe we should just go strip mining for diamonds instead. Because right now our options are uh, die or die, it looks like. We could try to mine through the wall this way. Is there something on this side, perhaps? We know there's a basalt delta over there. There's a bass remnant there. Some gas and some other stuff over there. We'll try it. We'll go until this pickaxe breaks. We'll see how that goes. Let's 
So speaking of those, those pig guys, the piglins, as they're called, uh, they will attack you if you're not wearing gold. You can also give them gold and they'll, like, trade you stuff. However, if you go to the bastion, where those guys were at, uh, they will attack you if you're wearing gold or not. Because that's kind of like their fortress, in a way. Still in a warped forest. Come on. I just need one soul sand, please. Uh... Damn it. Well, it looks like this is a way out, at least. And there's a delta over there. Okay, well. She. Okay. It's marked there. Hello, Enderman. I see you up there. I'm not going to look directly at you because I'm not an idiot. Scythe it is. Okay, pop that down. I do not like that there's Endermen all over the nether. That's uh, that's one thing I don't like about the update. I'm sure it's an easy place to get Enderman uh, stuff from, but you're just kind of walking around. They can just jump your ass, and it's not great. Okay, well, let's go over here. Hoop. This is the Basalt Delta. It's uh, kind of like plateaued uh, basalt lava lakes. So those are real fun. Smile. Ah, uh, soul sand. I was excited for a second. All right, let's see if we can kill this. If not, we gotta run away. Nope, we're leaving. It does too much damage. Goddamn big slimes. Okay. We'll just walk our happy butts over here then. Let's try this way. We can get around it. Nope, it's it's found me. Okay, maybe we uh, maybe we can't find any uh, soul sand today. Maybe our uh, our plan is over. Well, we can make a, a half-assed uh, zombie spawner at the least. It won't be as good, because we'll have to use more of our sword durability to, to kill it, but we can at least give it a good old college try. God damn it. That's the one thing I hate about off-handing torches, that sometimes you just place down torches after you're done eating or something. But anyway. Let's get out of here. We explored a little. That's what matters. We got some neat blocks, at the least. Okay. We outie. I'm gonna go ahead and uh pour some of this stuff. Perfect. And that crafting table. I'm gonna grab that one just in case we need another pickaxe while we're doing stuff. Alright, well, that was a bust. Unfortunately. So we'll just go. Drop a couple more torches before we head out. And then we will start our, uh... Uh... Mop grinder. Oh, right, that zombie spawner we found. Alright, let's see. Crafted items. They don't have any spare torches. I got food and plants. I'm gonna store my... Help here, so we don't need that anymore. Uh... Uh, it's gonna be a little bit different. Okay, uh, let's see. Don't necessarily need the signs. Actually, I'll take the signs. Yeah, the signs will be fine. Uh, I got food. I got that. I'm looking to see if I have what? 
What was I looking for? I don't remember. I'm gonna grab another stack of cobble just in case I need it. Uh, I need more torches, right? I'm dumb. Do I have any more? I got uh, sticks. Do I have any coal in here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's grab some more of that. Eh. Go, okay. Two spare torches. Fine. Got materials, store the sticks. Alright, let's go. Actually, I don't need the, uh, I don't need the ladders right now. Okay. Also, I don't need the flint and steel right now, either. Okay. Boat. Uh, let's wait a moment. We'll, we'll, uh, sleep, because the night's almost here. Then we'll go down there and do our thingy thing. While we're waiting for night to tick here and uh, sleeping, I learned something that I did not know as a child. And that is that. Back when I was a kid, we had this, uh, this like container of cinnamon and we would have like, we'd make toast, butter it, and then, you know, sprinkle on cinnamon. And uh, it was... Fucking amazing. It was great. What I did not realize at the time was that it was not just straight cinnamon that we were putting on the toast. It was half cinnamon, half sugar. So me, being an unknowing adult who did that recently, I bought a thing of cinnamon, got some toast, and just sprinkled the cinnamon on, and boy, was it dry and not pleasant. So I was like, there's no way in hell this is right. So messaged my mother and I was like, hey, is that just like straight cinnamon we used for toast back in the day or like what? She was like, oh yeah, we do like half sugar, half cinnamon. And I was like, all right, that makes sense. So uh, I made some and it was good. But yeah, that was my uh, food talk for the day. Anyway, let's go to the zombie spawner. And, uh, make some grindy boys, yeah. If I remember how to get there, because it's been a minute. Yes, it has. Is that a... Have I been to that village yet? I don't remember. How's it going, boy dragon? Okay. Weep. All right. Pop. So if I remember correctly, was it down here? There should be torches to light the way. I don't think it was down here then. Actually, what the hell is that? Is that a spider spawner? It is. Gross. Oh, I also learned something in uh, my friend's survival world. I'm doing pretty good, Dragon. How are you doing? Anyway, I learned that the spiders are not a good source to use for... Uh, spawning monsters because they uh the spiders can go through well, the cave spiders anyway can go through a goddamn size hole of like one by half so you have to use like fences to stop them from getting near you which I did not realize at the time so I had made a uh, a spawner or a, a mob grinder or a cave spider thing on my friend's world. And I'll look, okay, I'll just copy the one that I'm doing for a zombie spawner and it'll be fine because, uh, you know, the stuff can't go through a half block, right? Haha, <laughs> no. They can. They will. And they did. And, uh, I was overran by zombies, or not spiders, I was by cave spiders who poisoned me, and uh, it, it was not great. I think the, the worst thing in the game for, like, killing you is definitely the cave spiders. Because they poison you, first of all, and that sucks. 
because the the poison takes you down to like half a heart, like regardless of what you're doing, right? And so because of that, you have to use like your food to regen. And you can't really uh, do much after that. Because like, if you get hit once when you're poisoned and like down to one heart, you, you just die. So yeah, that was, that was great. Anyway, let's make this spawner nice and cute. One, two, three. We need to go one more here. So block, 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 block. Good to hear, Dragon. Today, I am making a zombie spawner using this, or a zombie grinder using this zombie spawner that we found in this cave here the last uh, session or so. So just a place to get levels from killing uh, the Zomboys, basically. That way we can grind levels to get enchantments and that kind of stuff. So we'll be digging for a bit, then we'll be building for a bit, and then we'll, if we have time, we'll do something else. Anyway, so what we need to do is we need to make it four in each direction, because that's the, uh, the spawning radius, I believe, of the, uh, the spawner thing, at least on the, the guide I looked up previously. Since I made one of these in my friend's world, I pretty much memorized it now. I had notes written down and everything about how to do this, and I was like, okay, I'm going to be like real sneaky and like just write down the notes, like an abridged version, so I can do it, you know, whenever. You don't need to now because I've actually built it once, so. Having built it recently once, I'm something of a, a genius, you might say, at doing it. Okay. Light this up so zombies don't spawn while we're doing stuff. We need four up, which is one. There's two, three. Okay, so we need to do one more up, huh? Glad I brought another shovel. Also, let me grab a slab and place it on top of there real quick. That's where that needs to go. All right. I really missed my diamond enchanted pickaxe on my friend's server. <laughs> I'll tell you what. That thing just mowed through everything. I think it was efficiency four. I haven't gotten efficiency five yet on it, but mm, love it. There. All right. This is going to be pretty drawn out and just kind of me hitting the, the wall here quite a little while because in addition to just having a service level thing, we're going to have to go down below four blocks deep as well, which will be fun. So let me actually one, two, three, and four. That's how deep we got to go there. One, two, three, and four. Hopefully it'll run into another mine shaft and have to pour anything up there. All right, let's finish the ceiling. So what I'll be doing basically is uh, preparing an area that we will eventually expand into once we find soul sand to make the grinder more efficient. Uh, but for now, we'll just have to do it where we just whack them till they die. We do not have any spare... Uh, Soul sand. So one, two, three, and four. A little more coal. Heck yeah. I'm running low on coal for some reason. Three and four. All right, perfect. And. So before I uh, get trapped down here, 
Let me uh make a one, two, three, four. All right. I'm gonna place a torch here just to simplify that. One, two. Oh my god, that asshole almost got me. Okay, well, let's prevent that from happening again, shall we? While we're working. Okay, nothing's getting in here now. For a bit. Thank god we weren't, like, down to where we couldn't just jump to the side real quick, or else that would have been really bad. So that was a one, two, three, and here is four. This deep, okay. I'm just going to switch off the shield so I can place down torches with my alt offhand, I mean. Okay. Now we just got to get everything down to that level. All right. Slowly but surely. In fact, I might actually run out of pickaxes here, which is not going to be great, but... If worst comes to worst, we can just make a cobble one. the spawner. I'm not. Hmm. Slowly but surely. One more pickaxe. Can it do the rest? Find out. I think it should be able to. There's not that much left. Oh yeah, we got this. Totally. Just the middle section. I think I'm actually going to change up the design that I uh, found. Uh, because it kind of makes a mess of things at certain areas. There's sometimes uh, too many zombies will spawn and kind of get clogged up in the uh, the lift mechanism I have seen. So I'm going to adjust it slightly so that that does not happen. Which will actually be perfect for this. I want everything to go to one direction. Of course there. Come on, my iron. Damn it. All right. Perfect. Okay. Everything is in place. We got our, our whole area dug out. Got the torch on the spawner there and whatnot. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to have the zombies flow in this direction. So that's going to be our collection point right here. One. 
three. Okay, and then I'm going to place down five signs right here, or four signs, I should say. Two, three, four. Save the fifth sign. Okay. Because water is going to flow from down here into here to collect the zombies in this little, this one little area. And there's going to be a... Uh, Basically what we're going to do, we're going to put right here, the soul sand, it's going to lift them up 22 blocks, carry them over to one area, drop them, and then they're going to take basically all of their damage except for like one heart, then we're going to be able to just swing our sword once and kill them. Once we get soul sand, but we do not have that quite yet, so we'll have to get that. So for right now, instead, all the zombies are just going to kind of collect in this area, which means we're going to make a, uh, a secure place right here. And put this here. Okay, the chest's first. Okay. Chest goes there. Chest goes there. Oh no, I don't want to do that. My bad. I want that there, and then that there, so the zombies are standing on top of the hopper. Down the second chest there. So we just kind of beat them here. And then... We'll just open up this area a little bit more. This is where we're going to be uh, standing at to kill the Zomboys. At least temporarily. So let's make some stairs going up. Because we have an escape route once we open it up. I don't want to get trapped in there with a bunch of zombies spawning so I die. that off. Grab that coal. Light this torch area up. Okay. All right, so this is where I'm going to be collecting. I want to go from here. I want to go over seven blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. And I think we're going to put down here. This is where our, our actual, once we get it finished, collection point is going to be. And there's my pickaxe. Okay. That's all right. For now, we can place this one down and make a uh, cobble one. Oop, okay. Light this place up too. Okay. Easy. Take this area out here. That's ready for the chests and stuff once we transfer them over. Dig up here. All right. So from this area, we need to go up 22 blocks. That's one, two, three, four. There's five, six, seven. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, twenty-two. Okay. Then we go over seven, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five, six, seven. And then we'll dig straight down here. 
first. We're going to light that up. And we are going to place... I'm going to place a bucket of water here. Then we're going to mine down here. Actually, hell, I can do this differently. Let's just put us right down. Fuck, not here. Uh. Well, this is not where I thought it was going to go. Damn it. Okay. Hold on. Fuck. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, I can't move right now. Could have gone a lot worse. I'm um, gonna light this place up a little. That does not happen again. Okay. Hell. No. Shoot. <clears throat> We're gonna need to get rid of this stuff. Needs to be a proper tube. So they don't get uh messed up or anything here, okay? Before we continue to mine down in a single line, let's, uh, regenerate some health, huh? Good God. That was almost the end of us there. And there we go, okay. Perfect. Next, <clears throat> fine, like that is, all right, mm -hmm. this is going to be a little bit complicated, but we should be able to do this, so we're going to place water up there, we're going to grab it, go higher, grab it, go higher, now we can keep kind of scaling this with the, the water. We might file fall all the way down while we're doing it, but you know, that's fine. We go. We just gotta keep going up and up and up, that's all. A little bit surely we will climb up. Go. Goes all the way down. Yeah! It's so complicated to do without ladders. When I uh, did this on my friend's server, I actually had him mining up as well with me. So he would place a block and put it away, place a block, put it away, that kind of stuff. <laughs> it was like slowly but surely we would climb our way up to 22 blocks. Anyway, place a sign there. Place that there. This way it kind of rushes down here, stops at the edge. The zombies get pushed over there. They drop down and they take damage. That's how that works. So now we just need to basically go down this route. And actually, I got a, a better idea of how to do this. So place that block there. It's going to go down. Uh, I'm going to grab a cobblestone. So, since the source block is... Go down further. Eh, come on. That there, too. Alright, so since the source block is down further than us, what we can do is we can just kind of... Mine down. I, I don't know why I didn't think about this first. Uh, but anyway. So we can do this, and then place right above us just a block. Water goes away. We can... Uh, find that a little bit further. Break that. And just keep going down. Do 
one more, put a block above us, and breathe. Eat a little bit while we're here. Okay. One, two. Take that out. Mine down. That there. Okay. And now we have made it to the end, but I forgot something. Fuck. Well, whatever, no matter. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug up this hole up here for right now. Because we don't have uh the kelp needed to bring it upward and uh work with it properly. So that'll be fine. Alright. Now we don't need this. We can get rid of that. I will need one bucket of water though. We need to go find a bucket of water before we can continue. Yep. I'm actually gonna just store some of the loose cobble and stuff that I have here. Yep, I'm making a spawner. Okay. Gonna block this up. Okay. Alright, so how do I actually get out of here properly without, like, messing stuff up? I want a quick, like, one shot directly to my spawner area. Um... Okay. Down carefully. This should take me outside, right? I think it's over this way. Yeah, it looks like it. This is really bright. Okay. Right here it is. Just put a bunch of torches there to mark it. Seal that off. There we go. Then do that to make it a nice little thing there. And then we'll do more of these. Yeah, yada. Okay. I'm going to go grab that water up there. I think, I think. Meow. Yoink. All right. Let me drop down. Boop. Okay. All right. Hey, Creeper, you weren't there before. Fuck off with that. Okay. I don't know where he came from or where he went. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe he came from in there. Let's block that off. Okay. Let's light up the rest of this area. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just gonna... Actually, let me open this up a little bit more so I can actually go past there if I need to. Pop. 
Do I have more coal? I do. Heck yeah. Gonna do that. Okay. And I'll just kind of cover this mine up here. Get rid of this string. Okay. There and there. All right. Now we have a, a nice straight shot. After we cover that up, that is fully contained within this area. That monsters cannot get us at. All right. Perfect. All right, now then. I can actually uh, make better stairs here. But anyway. Uh, I'm going to need another pickaxe here in just a moment. Let's make that real quick. Aho. Uh -oh. Go. <clears throat> okay. Where uh, where did where did my water go? What? Hold up, no. What? Huh? What? I did not lose it somehow, right? Y'all saw that I had water in this bucket, right? Am I am I losing my mind? There's no way, right? Someone who's watching, I totally had water in that bucket, right? No, I didn't. Oh man, that uh, I don't, I don't know what happened there, but that's not cool. Well, I guess we'll go get some more then. I can place it down anywhere. What the hell? stuff and now it's night uh wait why is it back up here did i i did not right click twice what no yeah i got the water yeah because i remember falling before too what i'm gonna have to check my vod on that one that is sketchy. It's like I, I walked away too far with it and I like just teleported back. I was like, nah, I want to go home. That's, uh, I want to fill this in real quick. Or else it's going to bother me. There we go. There's no way I right click and put it back. There's no way. Anyway, back to uh, the spawner. Basically, we place water here, water here, and it flows in together. Destroy that. And then what we do, we get rid of all of this. Okay. All right. 
Now all the water is going to the edge, right? In order to get it to flow over, we just take out the middle or the last blocks. That way it's nice and uniform. Everything flows down and gets collected right here. And because zombies are dumb, they'll, uh, they'll stand here. But they'll want to walk forward, so they'll kind of get pushed a little bit further here. Then when we get the uh, the, the sand, or not the, the soul sand, they'll get sucked up the elevator once we finish that off. And then they'll uh, get taken over to this side, drop down to here once uh, that finishes up. And then we'll transfer that over there. But for now, since we do not have the, uh, the soul sand, we'll have to make do with just... Uh, Killing them normally. The next step is to start removing all of the torches. We'll start with the top ones, and we'll get the bottom ones. Go. Okay. Get ones in the back. All right, want to respawn? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. All right, and real quick. We need to put that there, and that there. Okay, that'll prevent baby spawn zombies from getting out. And there, our spawner is done. So we can look in there, and we'll see them slowly but surely starting to uh, compile up. We turn this on, we can see there's eight entities currently ahead of us. Seven. There's 11 and 12. So you can see that the number, that E on the left there, about third, fourth line from the top. That number's still going up here. Anyway, so we'll just kind of hit them. Actually, no, I wanted to be back one more. That's my bond. Oh. Okay. Okay. That there. That way they're actually on top of the, uh, the hopper. It's definitely not efficient, since uh, they're not taking damage beforehand, but because we have some way to get easy experience, right? I want to get 30 at least. Very slowly. So what we can do is we can just uh, check our stuff here. So we're getting some rotten flesh we can trade to the, uh, the cleric, which is nice. That's always good. And then uh, I'm gonna go from there. So let's just grab the stuff that I want out of this. Before we get too clogged up with items. I can also place a bed. Actually, I got a bed up there, don't I? Fine. Anyway. Yeah, levels aren't very efficient, um, unfortunately, quite yet, just since we don't have uh, the ability to kill them easily. And my sword's almost gone already just from, you know, whacking them around like this. It's not great. But we'll get there. Let's just kill this batch of zombies and we can head back out. Okay, that's gone. We'll uh we'll leave now. Any more flesh though? Ooh, a golden chest piece. That's shitty. Alright. 
So, we uh, we got our, so our zombie spawner set up. We can always do more if we need to. Uh, I'm gonna put a bed back here. Oops, it's... Oh, there's monsters nearby. Never mind. I was gonna just use the bed to uh, sleep quick, to uh, pass the night. But it's almost day anyway, so... Matter. Yeah, th that'll happen, Panda. That's why you gotta get your, uh... Get some emeralds. Talk to our, our emerald, uh... Mending villager. And... Then uh, use the anvil to put mending on your sword. That way when you gain experience, it repairs itself and you don't break your, uh, your diamond sword. Alright, further up. There we go. Alright. Let's uh, run away through that. Alright. Now we got full iron. What we need to do is get full diamond. That'd be helpful. I think what we'll do next is I'm going to get rid of this stupid cobblestone pickaxe. All right. I believe my boat is right down here. All right. Hopping on in. All right, I already turned it around because I'm a genius like that. All right. So what I'd really like to do here, um, next in the village, I need to expand my farms. I need to get more wheat and stuff so I can trade stuff to the farmer better. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get many uh, emeralds for the exchange here. It also gives a good amount of experience when I trade stuff to the villagers. That's always good as well. Anyway, let's see how much rotten flesh that we can get to this one guy. So I might have to expand the village a little bit, but we'll see. Those. I don't remember exactly what villagers we have here. Okay. Knock, knock. All right, uh, food items. I got some rotten flesh there. I'll find, okay, let's store my equipment quick. Crafted items go here. Save one bucket, I'll put one back. Materials goes. Okay. Uh, six. Okay. Then we make a couple more pickaxes. A lot of iron, god dang. Okay. Okay. Grab a bucket of water just so we have it. Talk to our local cleric. All right, black wool. I heard right. Cleric. Damn it, cleric. Stop moving around, you dick. Let me trade with you. Stop. Okay. There we go. One emerald. Very nice. Not great. All right. Here is the things we have. 18. Yay. Okay. Do I have black wool? I got this boy who trades uh, rotten flesh. And how many was this villager's mending book? It was 14 emeralds. Right. So much nicer than the one on my on the uh, multiplayer server that I got. Ugh. Yo, 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 farmer villager, you trade potatoes, carrots, and pumpkins. Right. That's why I was getting these pumpkins. How many pumpkins? Six? Okay. Fuck, 
Did I damage that somehow? God dang it. Do some more melons while we're here, too. Definitely need to expand my, uh, my farms so I can just have, like, a bunch of, like, potatoes and carrots and stuff here. Um, that would be ideal. Let's go ahead and just, uh, take all these out. It's a good amount of potatoes, but it's not a great amount of potatoes, you know what I'm saying? Farmer! Grab me, homie. There we go. And I can trade him. Oh, hold on. Before I trade him. Wanna level up? Wanna level up, buddy? There you go. Okay. Now he wants... He wants, uh... Melons, too. Which aren't too hard to get. That's fine. You want carrot, potatoes, and pumpkins. Alright. Spare. There's a couple more pumpkins. Yeah. Hey, got some more pumpkins for you, mate. There you go. All right, have fun. And then I think I got my shears over here. I can grab some more. Uh, Hey, sheep, you want to get sheared? Also, do you want to breed as well while we're here? I'm going to breed y'all. There we go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. One more. One more. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now the cows, too. There you go, everyone. Love each other. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Them. And now we shear the sheep. Out of the way, Gollum. Give me your wool. <laughs> Naked sheep. Hey, that one gave me three. Nice. Okay. That's all for now. Grab the last pumpkins and melons. Check on the uh, carrots over here. Those carrots are full. Forgot to put the shears back. Okay, I definitely need to expand the farm to get myself more, like, potatoes and stuff going on. That's, uh, what I need to do ideally here. Here's go there. All right. Now we can trade with the, uh... Holder? I forget what his name is exactly. I can trade with him. Hey! Get out of the corner! You son of a bitch! Hey! Hey! Okay. I can get a couple more animals from that. I think I have enough for another uh, amending book now, but no point in getting a mending book right now if I do not have a uh, thing for it. There, okay. Yeah. Now, let us go and try. We'll go get some more diamonds. That'd be the plan. Um, maybe? Hold on. Let me just mow down all my, uh, sugar cane here. Oh, 
all of it? Okay. Nice. Two and a quarter stacks. Right, and... Picked up a couple more, okay. Alright, let's go mine. Let's try and get some, uh... More diamonds. I would at least like... A couple more. Okay. For that, we are at level 9. Perfect. Or 8, whatever. Let's go this way. <clears throat> Bye. Is that why I stopped going that way? I think it was. Okay, well, we can go this way. That's fine. And that's lava. Ooh, more iron. Of course, more lava. All right. Seriously, so much lava. I can hear it still bubbling up over there. Assuming if I go this way, I'm going to hit it in a couple blocks. No, okay. Must pass it then. I gotta. No, I don't have one. I was thinking I had a diamond pick because I had a obsidian portal, but. We, we don't have one, right? Because I, I just kind of took some stuff, right? I don't know. If we get diamonds, we'll, we'll check our chests before we make anything. Come on, diamonds. ourselves going to the coal since we need it anyway I also need to get 30 levels so I can do an enchantment on uh, any diamond gear I do get before I slap mending on it and now we got iron and there's bedrock. Okay. Perfect. It was a huge vein of coal. Good golly. Oops. Wrong button there. All right. I'm not getting anything. Well, I've gone through one iron pickaxe and haven't gotten a single diamond for it. Lovely. Let's see if pickaxe number two will do us any better.
Ooh. There's some redstone. I mean, I'll take experience. I don't actually shit. That was too close. Go. Experience, experience, man. I gotta kill some cows to get some leather for some bookshelves, too. We should have plenty. We get to 30 levels anyway. Put that there. A little bit of iron down this way, it looks like. You on? So I think we'll run out of torches first before we find a single diamond, huh? I think we will. If that's the case, and we do uh, run out of torches before we find anything, I'm probably gonna just save one so I can see my immediate area, and uh, we'll just go without lighting the way, which is kind of dangerous since stuff will spawn in the tunnels afterwards, but. We still have pickaxes, there's no point in going back, right? Yo, come on. Ugh, gravel. Okay, hold on. Before we go that way, Lava, or diamonds like to spawn around lava a lot, I've found, so I figure check and see if maybe uh, there's some diamonds around here, which, you know what, never mind, fuck it, that's going to be a pain in the ass. I changed my mind. I'm just going to put a uh, torch in there. All that done. Come on, man, just need a little glitter of a diamond. Come on, man. Be so stingy with your diamonds, Minecraft. Come on. Hole. Do I have wood on me? I do not. I was gonna say we could get that coal to make coal make more torches and then continue on, but. I think this might be the longest that I've gone mining like this without finding a single diamond. I'm pretty sure we did this before, too, on another episode. Found jack shittily shit. Uh, I switched the axe somehow. I'm gonna just grab this iron real quick, like. Continue. Uh, what biome are we in? A cold ocean. Cold ocean, huh? I mean, it's got icebergs in it and stuff. All right. More pickaxes left. We've gone through two pickaxes, not a single diamond. I've already gotten those full out of there. I'll go ahead and grab these. Sometimes the uh, generation of other ores, such as coal or iron, will interfere with diamond spawns, and there could be diamonds next to coal if they overlap. Unfortunately. Nothing. Okay. Well, shit.
Come on, man. I see three diamonds, man. Come on, man. You're killing me here. Really? That's a lot of iron. Man. I can taste them. They're just on the other side of this wall somewhere. Two more cycles of this, and I'm gonna say we're gonna get some diamonds. Two more, come on. Here's cycle number one. Here's cycle number two, come on. Right behind this wall, come on. Redstone's close enough. I wish. I wish you could just like impress redstone to make diamonds, that'd be nice. That's gravel. Bruh. You're killing me here, Minecraft. Oh, wait, I need lapis anyway. What the fuck? Uh, I'm going to get diamonds, make an enchantment table and all that. And yet I haven't found a single block of lapis until now. Boy, oh boy, am I an idiot. Now you need lapis to enchant shit. Okay. Forgot I'll have to hunt for some lapis too at some point. saw a shine over there. My imagination. One torch left. Well, and now we can't go that way. Come on, give me a diamond. Ugh. Come on, there we go. Nope, nothing. Fuck. We've almost gone through three pack hacks, y'all. We gotta go this way since everything else is covered with lava. Including that. And that. Oh, there goes that iron, huh? Really? Is that how we're playing it, huh? Huh, Minecraft? Huh? Is that how we're playing it? Yeah? Going this way. I would say that I almost feel like it's leading me towards uh, diamonds here, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case, being as uh, basically loop back around now. We're lopping back this way, right? Yep. Oh boy, that's a huge lava lake. 
Come on, I need one diamond. Just one little block of diamonds is all I want. I just need to know they exist at this point. At least that's a little bit of a light source. And hate to see it. Well, while we're just mining here, not really doing much else, I've been watching uh, the the One Piece arc of uh, Wano, the the Japanese land one, and it's actually one of the best arcs I've ever seen. For weird reasons, for me anyway. Uh, all the other previous arcs of like One Piece have been like just littered with flashbacks. Like, you watch, like, a uh, five minutes into it, and then, like, oh, let's flash back to the previous episode that you just saw, like, last week. And, uh, we'll just spend, like, three minutes wasting your time watching this, uh, this thing, breaking up all the, the scene, in a way, you know. We'll just stop what we're doing and just remember this. Remember this? That happened last week? They did that a lot. And it really pissed me off. But now, in the, in the Wano arc, I feel like they learned that people don't like that, finally. And they've started to put, like, all the, the recap stuff at the beginning of the episode. Which they were doing before, but, like, now they've done, like, a lot of it. So, now it takes, like, five minutes of every episode at the beginning. is nothing but the, the opening, the, the recap, and then it gets into the nitty-gritty. And, uh... And there's no recaps usually throughout the rest of the episode, which I just love. It's been great. Also, the characters in the Wano arc, yeah, the whole Kaido and Animal Kingdom pirates are really great. I like them. I just got to the point where uh, Luffy uh, gets confronted by Queen, one of the uh, performers, as they're called, of the Animal Kingdoms. And, uh, I was expecting Queen to be just like, whatever, just another weirdo. But like, the music and stuff that came up with him was actually really great. And I uh, thought he was a great character. So. God, this pickaxe is going to fucking break before... Let me, let me guess. We're going to find diamonds. But the pickaxe is going to break before we can get to them, right? I'm not even going to worry about that iron right now. Watch, right behind this wall. Nope. Wouldn't that be a bitch if right behind that wall, right there, right there, was diamonds? And we can't get to it because all of our fucking pickaxes broke. I don't know how in the hell we went through four iron pickaxes and didn't find a single diamond. That's ridiculous. I just can't believe it. Shit. This is why you light up your stuff, everyone. If you don't, you get people spawning in your sh shit, and they do that. <clears throat> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Boop. God, we we dig so far. I actually don't remind, remember mining through that dirt. Did I take a path that we've already been digging through and, like, forget about it? I, I missed, like, the, the way to actually go. Son of a bitch! I forgot I have these diamonds here! Yeah, I definitely went down a path that I already dug. Because I, I missed the turn to, uh... Go back to the normal area. Oh my god. So I have to have a diamond pickaxe then. Or was I trying to get a, uh, a an iron pick with, like, looting on it? Was, was it back here? No. Was it around here? No. 
Did I come from there or did I come from here? Shit. Uh, it's dark down there. I came from there. Okay, so this is the exit. Man. Insane. In. Actually, sane. Give me this stuff, though. I want it. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Well, I've got to have a diamond pick somewhere. If I found diamonds over there. Or I'm dumb. I don't know. We'll see. Hello. But I need to get fortune on a pickaxe. Before I get those diamonds, I think. Alright. Let's go kill some cows. And when we kill some cows, we should level up to 30. We can see if I have a pickaxe just hanging around for some reason because I forgot about it. Cows! Why are you little shits leveling me up? There we go, level 30. Alright, and we got 15 leather. Not bad. That's like five more bookshelves. I'm going to get a looting sword as well. Okay. I have to have a diamond pick somewhere. Come on. Crafted items. Oh, it'd be my gear chest over here, wouldn't it? Yep, there she is. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just grab that. I forgot I had a gear chest. <laughs> All right, let's store this stuff away. Throw our uh, ore in there. I'm going to reload the hole there. Go. I'll store that there, that there, 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 there. Actually, I need these lapis. Store the meat in the food chest. Get rid of this bone. Give me that paper. Some of these. Okay. Boop. And boop. Then book. Boop. Boop. All right, 15 books. Now I need some wood. So give me this and that just in case. Bookshelves. Yoink. Okay, we need more wood. There. All right. All the bookshelves. Okay. Excellent. Here's one there. Okay. Excellent. Let's place these bookshelves. See if I can get a level 30 enchantment yet or not. I don't think I can. Unfortunately. I think it's uh, still a little ways off. Is it? Yeah, I think here. Alright, what do we got? 30, 30, 30, 24. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Need more bookshelves. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. Okay, let's get some more. Actually, do I have torches still? I think I had a couple, right? No? The gear chest, maybe? No? Okay. That's fine. I didn't want no dumb torches anyway. There we go. Oh, I got a couple more torches now. Perfect. Grab this iron. Toss it in there as well. Not bad. A little extra kick. Gave me like two bars of experience for that. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to bed real quick. Get the monsters to despawn and all that. Ugh. Okay. Let me see. Ah. So really, I just need more cows to get more leather, to get more enchantment power. And then I need to get the farm expanded so I can trade with the guys down there to get more stuff. I need to get... We need to get gear to get sugar, 
or to get soul sand in order to make our uh, zombie spawner more efficient, in order to get more levels, to get more enchantments, to get better gear. That way we can go into the nether and uh, loot that bastion we found, as well as get uh, some of the armor or the, the ancient scrap to do stuff and whatnot. So, yeah. Ah, uh, man, okay. I also need to actually make a wheat farm that's not overran by this farmer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shit. Well, let's see. I think for right now, we'll just shear the sheep. Come here, sheep. You want to get sheared again? Let's go. See if I can feed the cows here again, get them to breed a little more, since they're uh, quite depleted. I think I also want to expand my uh, my farm here, because I need uh, I need more cows. I need more space. Well, I might do that. Hey, Mr. Farmer, I got a couple of things for you. For the emerald, my friend. Oh, all right. See, so I think what we'll do is I have plenty of land on this little island here. So I can definitely either like over there or over like back that way. I can definitely expand it and make more farmland. That's not a problem. Just a matter of spending time doing that and whatnot. So. I think we'll just end things here for now, and I'll I'll play around here a little bit later and do some stuff and things and whatnot and all that good jazz. Um, replant these real quick. There we go. All right. I'll basically just uh, grind some decoration and gathering gear and stuff like that around here while we're messing around. I can make a dedicated beet and carrot farm as well. Uh, expand the potato and stuff farm like that and all that good jazz. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna we're gonna save and quit. All right. And anyone? Nope. No one's in the server right now. Y'all want to see the progress that I've made on our server here? It's also a hard world. It's not hardcore, but uh, this is basically my area right here. It's a uh, nethery, right? Yeah. Anyway. So I got this. Uh, the soul soil here which makes me really fast because i have the soul walking on my boots or soul speed whatever it is so if i'm on it I, I move faster which is nice yeah so this was a, a village just like a normal village and i've uh taken over this area my, my friends and whatnot have taken over the area down like there and whatnot and kind of expanded it as you can see from their areas not we got a, a melon and a, a pumpkin farm down there to trade with farmer villagers we got uh, bamboo over there. It looks like they finally found. Nice, nice. This is a sugarcane farm. Very inefficient. Uh, it took like a day of being on it to get like two stacks of sugarcane. We got a little farm over here for sheep and chickens and cows and all that stuff. I made a house out of cake over there. I'll get to that in a moment. I just made this. It's a uh, another portal like dragon skull thing. I only didn't use any references for this. I just kind of freehanded it. It was like you go into the, the dragon's mouth with like the nether, <clears throat> with the red nether warp blocks used for the other uh, tongue, so you can go in there and whatnot. I have more soul sand here and nether stuff over here. I got a little uh, wheat farm, my own personal one, which uh, if I want to uh, harvest it, I just kind of pull this lever, outflows the water, which uh, pushes it all over there. 
Not that it, it matters since it doesn't get all of it, but I can do that to easily collect it. And I can just break the rest of it like that. Plant it all like this. And there's a couple of places that you'll see which uh, were stepped on and the farmland was messed up, unfortunately. But just kind of replant it like this. Yeah. Then I got over here the, uh, the, the red soil from the nether. So I can actually plant my, my red trees to get uh, this kind of wood, the red wood that you didn't see in the, uh, the hardcore world because we hadn't found one. Um, then back here, it's nothing special. It's just my cake house. Yeah, you can go inside. I got a, a little house here. I got bored last night and oh no, I ate part of it. Shit. I got bored and just made a bunch of cake from cows because I had a bunch of eggs and I was like, you know, let's, let's just fucking do it. This is my uh, back entrance. I got a lot of different uh, chests here full of dirt, cobblestone, valuables, which is just this stuff. Um, I got the various tool benches here. I got a nice little uh, breakfast table. I got a uh, bed and some, some gear here. I got a couple extra swords and whatnot in case I die at some point. Down here, I got a strip mine and uh, the, the cave spider spawner, which was very bad. Got a second floor here with a suit of armor. I got some nice soul. Uh, soul torches, blue ones that are nice. Unfortunately, they don't give out light uh, with the shaders yet. I don't think they made that possible. Um, got a little bench here to overlook that area. Oh, someone got a jungle tree. Nice. Uh, and then I got a little lookout tower up here with uh, some of the glow shroom things here to provide it with nice light. Nice little overlook of the area. That's pretty much my my base here. Uh, everyone else, like I said, is building down there and over there and whatnot. And for some reason, when we go in the nether portal, which the nether portal we had was over there, and we would just go down and do it, it brings us up over there, even if we destroy the portal. So there's two, like, portals over there. One of them is broken. I don't know why. It's weird. So I was like, if it's going to put us out somewhere else anyway, I'll just make another portal so I don't have to go over there and down there all the time to <laughs> do it. And then over there, you can see they made a... Uh, a blue nether thing to uh, do that. And also, if you look at uh, the, the pathways, I've placed cake around every so often so people can just eat while they're running if they don't want to go get food. But I really like this uh, this this aesthetic of like the nether, the basalt, and the, the black stone, and the, the red trees and stuff going together. Because uh, in my heart, I'm still uh, an edgy teenager who loves red and black going together, even though it's so overdone and whatnot. But, and then uh, you can see like the dragon uh, eyes there. If we get like here, you got, you got some eyes and whatnot. Thanks. I just built this like right before I started streaming too. Uh, yeah, and then over here, I got like a little hidden wheat farm because there was nothing else to really put in that area. And then over here, we have the big farm, which uh, is nothing but potatoes and wheat because we have villagers who trade wheat and potatoes for emeralds. So we got that and we have more wheat over here. And then we got uh, apparently a lot of bamboo, a lot of it. We got a sugarcane farm over there, more pumpkins, more potatoes. We got carrots over here, whatnot. And we got a nice uh, wall around the entire village made by Panda, who's in the chat right now. And uh, he, he built that wall. I started it with like wood and he upgraded it to the uh, the nice cobblestone with the fence and the, the slabs up top to prevent spiders and stuff from getting in. Uh, over here, we have our Mending Villager, which unfortunately, he's 26 emeralds as opposed to our, like, 14 in the, the hardcore world. He's also got a looting book. We haven't used him too much. It is uh, other ones up, but... We also have another Villager over here who uh, trades wheat and melon, and we had another Villager. I don't know where he went. And I don't know if you guys moved him or something, Panda, but he's not in here anymore. He's just gone. This was the one that took potatoes that I really liked, and I don't know where he went. I looked down below as well, see if maybe he went down the, the ladder and whatnot. Couldn't find him. So I don't know if like he, he spawned, if he suffocated and died or something, because once I, well, I came in here once, and he was sleeping, and uh, I tried to like kick him out of bed so I could trade with him, and he like got caught in the wall and like started suffocating, uh, but he got out just fine. So I, I don't know if he like one day woke up 
and died in the wall or something or or what happened but uh unfortunately our uh, our good villager i think died so we're gonna have two villagers now so we need to work on breeding them and stuff to actually get uh more and uh so they uh, panda and uh, dj i think it was built this structure it's a kind of a villager area thing and you can put villages in here block them off and trade them eventually when they uh they eventually go to like another village to gather more villagers uh, they also have a second story up here which is it also all villager spawns it appears to be and there's a spider there i don't know how we got in here but uh he needs to stop it so yeah it looks like just more of the same nice house design though it's like big like a big bulky barn it's uh, very nice so i don't know and then uh we go back over here we actually have a uh, completed spawner an increased a uh, boosted one in a way so down these stairs this mine was just kind of here we got uh down here This is our XP farm. I originally built it here. So we started out with this one uh, and made it. So the zombies spawn in here. We got a nice little viewing way for them to go. And you can see them actually getting sucked down into there. They then get pushed up. And after a second, you'll see that one drop down over here. And wait for it. There he is. So. We actually, uh, so we dug this by hand, all this stuff by hand, and then because we didn't have zombie spiders nearby or anything like that, all we had was a stupid cave spider spawner, we placed these in with creative, the, the spawners. So there's two on each side, and they kind of the same, like, just a reflection of each other. So they all pool into the same area. You come in here, and you just pop, pop they all just die. So a lot quicker than the, uh, the one that we set up, where you have to hit them like a lot while they work. And they also started to kind of get choked up. Also, a lot of chests full of just, like, enchanted leather and gold from them wearing armor. I um, also made a back one here as well. Kind of sit over here. But uh, I also just earlier today made, like, these little things. So if they do get blocked up around this area, we can just, like, kind of bash them down, kill them, get the experience from that as well. Made another one over here in case they get over there. And then uh, over on the other side... I made a, uh, another one, then another little area over here. So, like I said, if they get like stuck, you can actually see them going up here now. They kind of get pushed and then suck right up there, very nicely. So, you can kind of watch them as they, they do that. So, but I made uh, this one back here specifically, so it would try to like come towards you, and since they're coming towards you, they're coming into the water elevators whatnot because i felt like when i was farming them from this side they were trying to like come over towards me when they saw me through the window and that was causing them to uh build up and not go in but anyway as you can see i've gained like another level from like 38 to 39 and almost to 40 just in a couple of seconds there so that's a very good spawner because each spawner spawns like two at once so our hardcore one won't be near as strong as that, but it'll be pretty decent. If I do say so myself. So anyway, that's pretty much this little area. I'm just going to sleep so it's day for anyone who gets on. Maybe there's monsters nearby. Excuse me? Hello? What? There better not be monsters nearby. Are they underground? Oh, well, there's no way they're there. Are they underneath my base? Because I have a couple of holes down here. Hey! Zombie! 
Get out of here. What are you doing? This is my base. Little shit. Okay, maybe I should light this up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Ah, wrong button. Okay. Boop. Now I can sleep and get it today, so whenever someone comes on, it comes up. Oh, also my gear. Uh, like I said, I had gone down and got some netherite. So I got a netherite leggings, netherite chest plate, and a netherite pickaxe, all with my normal stuff on it. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna head off now, everyone. So thank you all for watching. Like I said, I'll try to on my uh, my hardcore server. Um, I'll, I'll try to build up more stuff there, expand the farm and whatnot, just off screen, so we don't have to do that boring stuff there, like we were just mining all day. I'm gonna show you if I can mine some diamonds while we're uh, waiting for that to go. I won't do any enchantment stuff yet. I'll just kind of find some diamonds. I won't actually mine them, I don't think. I'll, I'll wait to mine them on camera. I mean, it's not like I can cheat in hardcore mode anyway, but just to like show you guys that I'm you know, find them legitimately or how long it took to find them, uh, we'll do that. So, yeah, until next time, everyone. Thank you all for stopping on by, and uh, we'll be anything for now. Uh, tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to stream. And I think tomorrow I want to try and record uh, Falling Shadows, uh, the next chapter. And recently I've not been able to do that before or after the stream, because before the stream, I, well, I wake up at like two. And that gives me like three or four hours to uh, kind of just wake up and get ready for the stream. And I don't want to like start recording and then run over the time I normally start streaming and whatnot. So I don't kind of do that before. And then afterwards I get tied up watching streams, watching the uh, the anime that came out today and whatnot, or eating and whatnot. So it kind of messes up all that. Um, and then on days that I work, which are any day but Wednesday and Thursday, uh, basically it's the same thing. I end up getting stuck eating and watching streams and watching anime. So uh, the next stream will be Wednesday, uh, but hopefully I will have out on Friday the next chapter of Falling Shadows if you want to listen to that on the YouTube. The YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Plague and Shiki, so you can check that out there. Um, but that's all for now, everyone. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a lovely time. I'll catch you all next time. Bye for now.